So there are a lot of ideas out there about how to make money online. Some of them completely legit and others, not so much. My name is Liam and I'm gonna be trying out any method that I see on my TikTok, YouTube, Instagram to make money online, I'm gonna try that here on this channel and record the entire process for you guys. I'll be seeing whether or not I can make money with them and rating them on a scale of one to 10 as far as risk, effectiveness, and time necessary to be successful. Today, I'm gonna start a week of trying miscellaneous service arbitrage um, as seen in this video right here. So I have a good friend who makes $20,000 a month and works one hour a day. Let me show you what he does. So I'm sure you've all heard of Craigslist. He basically starts on Craigslist and goes over to gigs. He clicks on any gig. Let's start with computer. From here, there's a list of clients looking for services in my local area. Obviously, you can expand this out to other locations and you can do hundreds of deals a day if you want. But let's click on this one. So in this case, this guy's looking to hire a web developer that can create a mobile app. Now you want to go over to Fiverr, which is a freelancing platform and type in app developer. Find somebody who can do the service for relatively cheap with good reviews, like this guy who'll design and develop a mobile application for $160. It's essentially pairing together two clients, one who needs a job done and the other who will do the job. Then I split the difference in cost in between the two and that's the money that I make on this. The point of this video is to try the side gigs, not to make them my entire life. So for this, like the TikTok says, I'm gonna do it for an hour a day for a week and we're gonna see where we get with that. I'm gonna jump into day one now and I'll see you guys when I'm done. As I opened Craigslist, I immediately stumbled into the first major red flag about this side hustle, which was the lack of possible clients on the app. I'm assuming the market had been saturated because after looking um, at TikTok for a while and looking at the comments of this video, there was a lot of frustration about actually finding the gigs. And also I'd seen this blow up uh, on a couple other videos as well, which is why I decided to make this video on it, but the market probably has been saturated since then. After searching for about 30 minutes, I had finished looking through all of the recent postings in any possible gig on Craigslist. Uh, and because you need to know what you're talking about, no matter what the gig is, there were only a few gigs that fell into an area where I could have communicated effectively enough to get the job in the first place. Okay, so about after 45 minutes of going through all the Craigslist pages, uh, I found four gigs that seem like a possibility for me. The first is an app developer which that's that's a big money range, which means it's really specific, which means depending on who we find as the person who needs the app and the person who wants to do the app, it might just not work that one. The second one is uh, digital marketing material, which is basically just creating this specific one is creating a PowerPoint for someone and creating it looks like a LinkedIn profile for someone, which that's very possible because that's very easy to do. I could do that on my own. The third and fourth ones are both freelance writers, which is interesting because that's a subject that I've been doing um, for a different company for a long time now, and I never thought that it would be possible to get paid for on Craigslist. So I guess I learned something new right there. But those two are both probably our best bets because it's really easy to find freelance writers for pretty cheap as well. So I'm gonna start reaching out to those four people and looking for people on Fiverr to match with them and then that'll conclude the hour for today. All right, so here we are, day two. Uh, the four leads has been cut down to three because one of them had some uh, expertise requirements that I could not meet. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? So I reached out to all three of them. The Spanish speaking one was a no-go as of right now. I found someone on Fiverr who would do the job, but uh, they have other projects going on and they don't want to commit to too many things at once. So it's great. I'm going to look for another person to fit that job today. The other two we did not hear back from. I am going to reach out to them again today as I look for more things on Craigslist. But what it seems like is that there's just not enough gigs on Craigslist to make this a really sustainable task. So I'm going to add in a couple other websites where you can find freelance work and try to see if we can find more people to reach out to. On day two, it became even more clear that this side hustle just would not be effective. None of my original leads got back to me besides the initial Spanish speaker, and there are almost no new gigs posted on Craigslist. Okay, so after another 40 minutes of looking on Freelancer, Fiverr, Upwork, I'm realizing that what this TikTok is not saying is that without some sort of background in any sort of you know, depending on what it is, if you're an app developer, app develop, that kind of thing. Without a background in that subject, it is nearly impossible to get any of these tasks because you're competing with people who have an actual background. 
So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna just wait and see if any of the original three Craigslist people reached out to me. Freelancer and Upwork are both way too streamlined as far as um, the application process goes. So it's pretty easy to pick out. I made both sides. I posted a job just so I could see what other people would, would look like. And it's pretty easy to f filter out people who are legit and people who are not. And as someone who, I don't have any experience in this and I'm not even looking to do the actual work. I'm looking to pair it with someone. There's a lot better methods for this, which I'm actually going to talk about in a later stretch of the video. But for right now, I'm just going to wait and see for the next couple of days and see if I hear back from any of the original Craigslist people. But if not, um, this, this TikTok is kind of a fiction. All right, guys, it is the seventh day of this challenge. It's nighttime now, so I've waited the whole day just to be sure. Um, but besides the first Spanish speaker, we really have not gotten any responses from any of the possible clients. The market for this business is extremely saturated. And so without any sort of business or experience or agency backing you, it is extremely difficult to get a job. But that does create the perfect segue into how I think an idea like service arbitrage could actually work. You guys have probably heard or seen on either TikTok or YouTube a man named Iman Gadzi. He's essentially the most famous uh, entrepreneurial influencer out there right now, and he made his money through a social media marketing agency. Of course, now he does sell online courses for his agency, and he has a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to leave that in the description, although if you're seeing this video, you've probably heard of him. But the reason why I mention him is because the way I can see the side hustle working is if you create an agency based around one of the gigs in the same way he did with social media marketing, let's say you want to create a copywriting agency and then you find someone who will copyright for you for cheap uh, and you advertise yourself or the agency instead of um, just being a freelancer, you now have this agency backing you and the clients will pay the agency instead of paying one person. Obviously, you can still hire someone else to do the work. Like I just said, you should probably know how to do it on your own, but that is what I think might be the best option for this is instead of trying to just apply to random jobs that you see, create an agency around a specific setting, social media marketing, um, maybe you, a YouTube editing agency, that type of thing, where you can then reach out to possible clients through that agency and have a much more official backing. So when I'm giving the side hustle its ratings, it's going to be based off that, based off the idea that you can actually create an agency around service arbitrage and that will work. So I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 as far as risk goes, because you give no money up front. You need a client before you spend any money. So there's almost zero risk. As far as effectiveness goes, it is a seven out of 10. In this specific one, uh, it's very unlikely that you'll be hired for something, but if you do, you will make money. And finally, for the time rating, if you're simply freelancing and you're just applying to random gigs, I'm gonna give this a three out of 10 because it will take a lot of time to find an actual job for yourself. However, if you're doing this within an agency or you're the owner of an agency and you're looking for this, I'm giving it an eight out of 10 because at first it'll take a lot of time to find a client and lock them down. But if you can get them recurring, depending on what your service is, uh, the time goes down substantially because they're recurring clients. So you don't have to look for them anymore. But that's going to be all from me today. Um, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like because it'll let me know that you want more content like this. Or of course, if you didn't, leave it down in the comments what the next idea is that I should do or how I should change this theme. But besides that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.